this bag and oh my gosh there's the Morphe brushes I'm so excited the Jeffree Star Morphe and some gift cards Hey guys, I just got to Ulta and I've already looked through a couple bags, but I opened this one and peeked inside and look what I see. There's a couple perfume testers. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm scared to look inside. Okay. Okay, I don't see a brush. It's a little bit messy, but oh my gosh. It's the new Anastasia palette as I drop it. And let's see it. Another one of the Morphe palettes. It's a little bit messy again, but they didn't destroy it or scrape it out. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking. Hey guys, I am at Bell's and I just opened this bag and it's kind of funny because I found an AirPod and it has the Apple logo at the bottom. It, I don't see the case with it, but I think they sweep the floor and this was on it. So I found this, which is pretty cool. I don't know if it works or not yet, but I'm going to take it with me. I'm so glad I lifted that up because under it is a bunch of more stuff, including toys like Thomas the Train and it's heavy. How cool is that? So there's a couple in here. Kids games, another Thomas the Train, and then three more right here. What? That's so many kids need this stuff. I'm pulling out some pretty cool stuff. This is a Perth by Reaction Kenneth Cole. And then I think I see a watch. I see a watch. And I see some empty boxes. I don't know if this stuff is gone, but what is this? Travel shoe bag. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So I'm taking that. And I don't have gloves on. I'm sorry about that. It's, um, we just kind of happened to be here. And it looks like everything's at the bottom. Let me see. I'm just gonna do a little bit of digging and see if I can find anything else. Oh, I do see this. Okay, so I just pulled this out. There's a box with some stuff and I think it's still in here. I don't know why it's on this thing still, but it was inside of this box. Still looking through. I see like empty watch boxes. I think I see some shoes. I see some shoes and they look brand new. Here's the tags. I see something in this right here. And I don't know what it is. Okay, there's some bracelets. I'm making a little stack. It's all under everything with along with some glass. I see a bathing suit with tags. Another perfume, polo. Okay, I see some makeup, BB. What is this? Oh my gosh, this is insane. I'm gonna go take some of this to the car. You guys, in a second, I'm trying to hurry up. It's like all right in between there under these bags, so I'm gonna move some stuff around. Okay, I moved this one box. And I'm finding, I found this. I thought that was it, but it's not. What? I don't know why they're still in the cases. That's weird to me. Guys, I think that might be it. From Ulta, I found this huge collection of Morphe palettes and blushes and bronzers. I haven't taken all of the stickers off yet, but I did figure out a way to fix them because they did pop the caps off. They broke the metal on them and broke them off. 
but let me see. I fixed this one and it's not going to be perfect, but it stays on. And what I did basically, I just went to a hardware shop and I bought soldering iron and I just kind of shaped it into the metal that I needed and made a palette that stays open and it stays on. So I still have to do it with most of these, but I found a lot and I'll show you guys the insides now. So here are the insides of a couple of them. These are the smaller ones. This They have a, I believe there's a bronzer, blush, and highlighters, and it's just kind of a mix of them. This one I fixed, but eventually I'm going to get to all of them. Some are a little bit more used, and then some are barely touched. But they didn't scrape the product, which is what I'm most happy about. And then I... These are the three blush trios I found. I did fix this one. I still have to get the, these two, but I did break the shade, the end shade. I think I dropped it and it broke, but that's okay. There's still a lot of product left, but I'm going to be working on fixing this one next. And then one of my favorite things to find, eyeshadow palettes, and they're not scratched out. They're a little bit used, they were the testers, but I did clean them already, and they did come out pretty nice, and there's so much use left in them. I just have to fix the caps on them, and they'll be perf perfectly fine. Okay guys, so I'm looking through, and I don't know if you can see all this, well, I'm sure you can, but there's a bunch of, like, makeup, um, there's, like, a bunch of makeup, and it's at the bottom empty box. So I'm going to put everything in this box. Okay. Uh, always good to take a gift card. It's just like really all over the place. So I, got, I can't spend too long here, but there's some stuff. I'm gonna leave that behind. Okay, so, so far this is what I found. Um, let's see. There's some It Cosmetics, ColourPop, Urban Decay, Morphe. So I gotta get out of here. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I feel it. Do not sell. Customer swatched and broke a shade. Oh, oh, it's the new one. Okay, let's see. Oh. oh man, that's not even broken. Okay, I can see like why they can't sell it, but I'll take that. Let's see, take the box. Another palette, it's so nasty on the outside. Okay, this is the James Charles. Oh, it's broken. But look at it, it looks like it was a return. One of these were broken. Okay. Okay, I gotta get out of here now. <laughs> Let me just double check. Pencil sharpener. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, that's it. Let me grab the box. Okay. I'm just gonna check one more time and then get all of this into the car. Hey guys, so here's the Ulta haul. Before I get into it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. This is the James Charles palette, and as you can see, there is one broken shade. And then it looks like some of them are a little bit messed up with, but this is the worst shade. And I'm gonna work, I'm gonna put some alcohol on it and just kind of press it back together. But it's such a pretty palette. Oh my gosh. And the box is a little bit beaten up, but I'm gonna keep it. 
and then the Jaclyn Hill palette, this one actually on the box, I think I showed you guys earlier, it just says, do not sell, a customer swatched and broke a shade. And as you can see when you open it up, it is broken, but it's only one shade. I can understand why they can't sell it, but it has like some type of scrape or scratch in it. But somebody definitely did mess with this one, but not all of the shades are even touched. I'm not too sure how many concealers are in the Morphe collection, but I did find quite a few of them and different shades. I'm not seeing too many lighter shades, unless this is the entire collection, I'm not too sure. But pretty cool score right here with the Morphe's. I did find a couple IT Cosmetics makeup brushes. They need a really good cleanup, but this is what they look like. They're like this metal, and they just like, they sound so cool and they, like they clank. But anyway, here's the brushes I found. I found quite a bit of Urban Decay brow items, and yeah, so Urban Decay brow items. They did just throw their Urban Decay items away, as well as some Morphe. Um, speaking of Urban Decay, I also found some lip shines from them, or Hi-Fi shine. So I found five of these, and my Ulta, when it comes to, it might depend on the manager, but I notice like they'll just throw everything into the dumpster just like everything all at once they don't put it in a box together they just kind of like I guess take a handful and toss it in so it took me quite a while to like try and find all this and I'm sure I, I missed a couple things okay a couple of color pop items there's a couple of foundations four in total and they feel pretty full maybe like 90 to halfway full not all the way full but still pretty cool. I found some more brow products from Lancome 4 in total, as well as two eyeliners. And then the rest of this really is just like miscellaneous items. There's a lip liner, a brush, a primer, and a Lancome foundation. But overall, really cool. I found quite a bit from Ulta and this was I would say this was a pretty successful dive. Hey guys, I'm at Bell's. It is so hot outside right now, but this is not the outlet. It's the actual department store, and I'm finding like really cool stuff. Um, jewelry, all sorts of stuff. They buried it at the very bottom, but I'm gonna keep digging. I'm finding it like all down in the corner. So, I'll let you guys know there's some cool finds. I just found this starfish, which is so cool. The tip of it is broken, but there's some glass items. A lot of broken things in here, but also some good things. And then from the actual bells, not the outlet, ugh. From the actual bells, I found like some beach theme items. There's this bath mat which it doesn't even have any stains on it so it's super cute there's a starfish which it is a little bit broken but it's still like so cute and i can either put something there or something i know i'm probably have something to do with this too cute and then sadly, I just grabbed this because I was in a rush, but the actual clock does not work. So I'm not sure what to do with it, but I thought I would still show you guys. I also found this weighted blanket, which was like $50 and it's still in the bag. It's a 15 pound blanket and it looks so cozy. So I'm gonna give it a good wash and then see if there's any major damage with it. And then just like a belt from Dockers. Um, that's pretty much it. I think it, it right here the braid came loose 
as you can see there was a bunch of loose jewelry which it was just like all in this box like this necklace um it's definitely more of like a custom jewelry thing i think the clasp might yeah the chain on it broke which is why they threw it away but this is what it looks like some starfish and then earrings a lot of like this jewelry I guess it's just broken so I'm gonna see some of it if I can fix like this would be cute like just by itself like with the gold like a pin just all kinds of like odds and ends in here there's a seashell necklace which the seashell part came off and then in here I found an iTouch Air 2S it's a smartwatch and it retailed for $95 that I thought that was like a really cool find I was excited about that so I'm gonna see if it works so it would be cool if it does I'll let you guys see so here's the watch and it does work you can see there's a little button at the bottom that you can move and press things with. Like I can measure my heart rate. It's basically like a little knockoff Apple Watch, but I still think it's pretty cool. And it retailed for $100. This is what the back looks like. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this. This is a cool find and it's a shame it got thrown away. I'm glad I was able to save it. It says doesn't work, but I'm still gonna give it a shot. You never know. And then I find these all over the place, just like little Sentry wireless earbuds. There's two of them, and these usually always work when I find them. Seashell, another seashell, some jockey underwear what's this paradise shores okay this was like a necklace and earring set but the earring is broken on it the necklace is still okay um so i can at least take that out and donate it And some Dockers sunglasses. They're pretty heavy duty, honestly. Um, like I said, good donation items. A lot of this is good to donate. So I'll keep you guys updated and I'll let you guys know about this.